and welcome to the magnificent Barony Hall, um, where we're going to hold our graduation ceremony this morning. I have to welcome people from across the UK, from across Europe, and from further afield as well. So everyone, you're very welcome to this graduation ceremony we're having this morning. Shortly, I will be asking our graduands to come up onto the stage, and I will cap them, which then confers their degree. And this is a public rite of passage, which has been going on since the time of the Enlightenment, when Strathclyde was formed. Once the degree has been conferred, the graduate, graduands become graduates of the university. Celebrate that by having an academic procession from the barony up to our teaching and learning building, where we'll have some light refreshments to celebrate with our graduates. We will also be, uh, sorry, I will also tell you a little bit more about the university and what we're doing to contribute to wider society. So please do enjoy the ceremony. If you hear, uh, sorry, if you see your favorite graduand coming up to become a graduate, please do not hesitate to cheer and to clap. It's a happy occasion, so please enjoy the ceremony. Um, I now declare this ceremony officially open. I'm now going to invite Professor Deborah Willison our academic dean, vice dean for the Faculty of Science to come up and read out the list of names of our graduates. Executive Dean, in the name of the university and by the authority of Senate, I present to you these students. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy for research in the Department of Strathclyde Institute of Pharmacy and Biomedical Sciences, Albala Al Afandi. Samia Shin M.D. Alanese. <laughs> Nada Abdullah M. Al Sali. <laughs> Mariam B. H. A. N. Al Sanafi. Alameo Gustavo Carpinterio Sanchez. <laughs> Marke Obukowu Dales. <laughs> Michael Stewart Paul Devlin. Alison Hannah Hughes. Stuart McEwen. Joanna Guerrero Mutinera Faustino. Erin Walsh. Cameron Marcus Webb. Mark Wright. For the degree of Master of Research in Biomedical Sciences, Gerge Sarkozy. Stanley Viti Chibasil. For the degree of Master of Science in Advanced Clinical Pharmacy Practice, Lois Audrey Galt. In Advanced Clinical Pharmacy Practice with Practice Certificate in Independent Prescribing, Anton Slaven. In Advanced Immunology, Manoj Enampudi. In Advanced Pharmaceutical Manufacturing, Sasereka Peri Yasami. In 
in Pharmacy Practice Clinical, Hadil Haza H. Alanazi. <laughs> Abdul Rahman Salem A. Haddad. For the degree of Master in Science in Biochemistry, Zoe Imogen Freya Nairn. <laughs> in Immunology, Yi Wen Tai. <laughs> Alison Connolly. Sadaf Nauman. Sky Jessica Wishart. In Microbiology, Keris McNaught. In Pharmacology, Sina Agasa Degui. <laughs> Mohamed El Madani. <laughs> Siti McLeod Lamont. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry and Immunology, Iona Elizabeth Campbell. <laughs> Rebecca Isabella Skarupka. <laughs> in Biochemistry and Microbiology, Nicole Martinelli. Ilza Orr. <laughs> Sana Sheikh. <laughs> Kelsey Urquhart. <laughs> Samra Alam. Leah Jane Harland. <laughs> Laura Cavan. <laughs> Emmanuel Salamina. <laughs> In biochemistry and pharmacology, Hayden Ashcroft. Xu Yen Chen. <laughs> Junpei Chen. <laughs> Horan Gao. <laughs> Priscilla Jose. Nguyen Kong. <laughs> Xiao Chun Tao. <laughs> Yining Yang. <laughs> Gi Ye. Rongxi Zhang. <laughs> Halima Sadia Ahmed. <laughs> Heng Kai. <laughs> Imogen Gregory. Yemen Huang. <laughs> J. 
James Thomas Kavanagh. Zain Mahmood. Yushuan Chi. Miriam Sharif. Bo Feng Song. Hai Miao Sun. An Sheng Yan. Rajat Arora. Runing Hu. David Case McGill. J. Bai Zhang. In biology with Teaching International, Nur Hamid Wani Hudeb Al Hashimi. <laughs> Malik Ahmed Obeid Al Jassasi. <laughs> Shada Ali Salim Al Shafi. Isan Yaya Talib Al Ajmi. <laughs> Noor Ali Muhammad Al Farsi. <laughs> Yaya Yunus Salim Suleiman Al Hashmi. Mother Salim Abdallah Al Balushi. In biomedical science, Radina Hadid Mubarak Al Madalwi. Ruri Casey. Rebecca Christina Rollo. Kirsty Whale. <laughs> Jessica Wilson. <laughs> Ibrahim Abed. <laughs> Ahmed Said Case Al Harasi. Daya Hilal Hamid Al Maskari. <laughs> Athra Nasser Rabia Al Siwid Al Siyabi. <laughs> Harrison Bott. <laughs> Nicholas Brenyuk. Jennifer Louise Evans. <laughs> Banaz Fitta. <laughs> Bethany Jane Ibbotson. <laughs> Ekaterina Kotsakis. Parva Matharka. <laughs> Rachel Jane McClelland. <laughs> Jane Christina Carolyn Mitchell. <laughs> Ed
Edwin Offen. <laughs> Gary Stewart Patterson. <laughs> Alistair Quinn. <laughs> Faria Tasneem. Leanne Tivendale. <laughs> Max Stuart Womersley. <laughs> Wong Ka Yan. <laughs> Kian Woodsend. Anwar Amur Humaid Al Kayari. <laughs> Oriolua Fadun. <laughs> In Biomolecular Sciences, Mayo de Pupo Rotimi Ogendel. In Immunology and Microbiology, Dobrina Dabreva Dudova. <laughs> Anthony Hugh McCulloch. <laughs> Ailey McGonigal. <laughs> Benjamin Mitchell. Maria Elizabeth Patsy Linikos. <laughs> Fiona Annie Mary Gillis. <laughs> Sarah Goggins. <laughs> Andrew Marston. Matthew David McBride. <laughs> Jamie Robert McEwen. <laughs> Gemma McGuire. <laughs> Yasmin Say. Catherine Amy Stiles. <laughs> Lauren Gemma McCulloch. <laughs> Olivia Rourke. <laughs> Amina Shah. In Immunology and Pharmacology, Ross Allen Abernethy. <laughs> Eve Bartle. <laughs> Alice Esther Brooks. <laughs> Emma Bruce. Natasha Ann Dara. <laughs> Eve McQueen Henry. <laughs> Ashley Jane Kennedy. <laughs> Fiona McIntyre. Gillian Caitlin McAdam. <laughs> Katie Mary McAlpine. <laughs> Katie 
Luke Aidan McMillan. Carla May McVeigh. Lily Karen Middlemas. Luke James Peggy. Lisa Reed. Jamie Smith. Kirsty Tinto. Hannah Wilson. Beth Ann Catherine Adamson. Mariam Ali. Danielle Rebecca Benison. Megan Louise Bradley. Danielle Brawley. Cameron Dalrymple. Lauren Angela Gill. Rebecca Hughes. Arib Ilyas. Jamie Jack Joseph Knight. Hannah Mary MacDonald Banyos. Mark Kyle McCanns. Sarah McShannon. Lily Muir. Amy Horsley Newlands. Jacob Cody Parker. Maisie Lee Sebastian Swindell. S. Stefika Fassi. Shona Rebecca Maureen McLeod. Taylor Morrow. Martina Pardillo. Sadia Anam Razak. <laughs> Olivia Pisakane Thompson. <laughs> Akif Navid. <laughs> In microbiology and pharmacology, Rebecca Ann Taylor. Nicola Voiculescu. <laughs> Russell Alexander Anderson. <laughs> Emily McCool. <laughs> Lauren Moore. Christopher Keenan. Yeah. 
Zora Ali. In Biological Sciences, Ben Connor Rees Fulton. Zainab Latif. For the degree of Master of Science in Advanced Pharmaceutical Manufacturing, Nuf Mafe Al Shamali. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Immunology and Microbiology, Jennifer Loudon. Biochemistry and Pharmacology, Zi Wan. For the degree of Master of Science in Clinical Pharmacy, Abdulaziz Kamis A. Al Katani. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry and Pharmacology, Amara Rukaya Akta. Well, that was quite special. So let's give all our graduates a big round of applause. So well done to everyone. Um, the last two years have been really challenging due to the coronavirus. I think we all know that. And our students here have shown great resilience, adaptability, and determination to arrive at this day. So we're very proud of them. And I'm sure you're all very proud as well. Um, I'm sure you're all also very grateful um, for the support of your family and friends, the graduates. Let's give a round of applause to your, your supporters, please, <laughs> acknowledging them. And also to our wonderful staff, who's sitting here in their resplendent robes. very brightly decorated, so making this a, a lovely occasion. So thank you to all our staff for their contributions in bringing the students through to the conclusion of the degree which we mark with this ceremony. In a short while, um, the graduates will be invited to join an academic procession when we leave this hall. And that's a symbol that you're no longer students, you're now full members of the academic community at Strathclyde, which numbers over 191,000 members across the world. You'll be joining esteemed companies such as David Livingston, John Logie Baird, Dame Elish Angelini, and Helen Liddell, to name but a few, there are many others. One of the key figures from our university history is Professor John Anderson, who made this possible by creating the institute, um, which is now the University of Strathclyde back in 1796. And this was during the Scottish Enlightenment when he created the Institute as a place of useful learning. Anderson believed in knowledge for the greater good and for all, and that's what we call widening access today. 
and we've remained faithful to those founding principles. We're at the forefront of widening access in higher education, welcoming those with the ability to learn regardless of their personal circumstances. We've already met the Scottish Government's 2030 target of 20% of new students coming from 20% of the most challenged areas in the country, and we've achieved this whilst having some of the highest entry requirements in the UK. So very talented students coming from some very challenging backgrounds. Our motto of useful learning continues as we seek to gain new knowledge and understanding that we can apply to the challenges of our time. We're a research intensive institution with a vision to make a positive difference to the lives of our students, to society and to the world. Through our groundbreaking research, we're helping to change the world for the better. I'll give you a couple of examples shortly on that. Very recently, the government published the Research Excellence Framework Outcomes from 2021, which looked at research performance in the UK for the last seven years. 90% of Strathclyde's research was assessed as world-leading or internationally excellent. And particularly pertinent today's, to today's ceremony is that the unit of assessment covered by SIBS, which is Allied Health Professions, was ranked 11th in the UK and joint first for impact of research and for the environment that the research is carried out in Scotland. So a huge kudos to SIBS and their achievements in research and excellence. Overall, Strathclyde had the second highest impact profile in Scotland, which is really assessing how we use the research to make a benefit, the impact it has on society and on industry. So we were the second highest in Scotland. Um, demonstrating that we're having an impact on everyday lives in the real world. We're developing new drugs using digital manufacturing processes to provide cheaper, more effective treatments in the fight against cancer, kidney diseases, inflammatory diseases, and helping our health services evolve to face the challenges of health and social care in the changing demographics of the 21st century. We're leading the revitalization of this part of the city through the Glasgow City Innovation District, which is bringing companies, both large and small, to work together with the university to create new ideas, technologies, and solutions to the challenges of our time. In the near future, we'll be building another innovation centre next to the Technology and Innovation Centre at 99 George Street, named in honour of one of our most successful alumni, businessman Dr Charles Wang, who last year donated £50 million to Strathclyde an extremely generous gift, our largest ever donation, and in recognition of the role this university has had in his success. So Charles Wang was the CEO of the company in Oval, which produced all the lateral flow testing kits we were using in the pandemic. Um, so he's come back and recognized his time at Strathclyde with this very generous gift. 30 million pounds of that gift will be used to support this new sustainable building key part of our technology and innovation zone, allowing more businesses to co-locate with the university to improve productivity, develop world-class talent, research and technology, and accelerate inclusive economic growth. We're growing Scotland's manufacturing capabilities as part of the fourth industrial revolution, Industry 4.0, where we'll see digitization, automation, and artificial intelligence transform the sector providing huge economic and employment opportunities. And much of this work is taking place in the Advanced Manufacturing Innovation District in Scotland, which is being created out near Glasgow Airport, which you may see if you're traveling out on your holidays. The National Manufacturing Institute for Scotland facility to be operated by Strathclyde is under construction there, as is the Medicines Manufacturing Innovation Center, another key part of our infrastructure. Our globally minded staff and students are working in sustainable development and addressing inequalities in places such as India, Malawi, the Gambia, trying to establish clean water, renewable power supplies and healthcare facilities. In pursuing our vision, we understand the value of successfully working in partnership with business, government and the third sector to make a difference. And we extend our global reach through academic partnerships with the likes of Stanford, NYU, MIT, Caltech, Tsinghua, Nanyang Technological University in Singapore, to name but a few. As a university, we are continually working to enhance 
our student experience investing in our campus, as evidenced by our new Strathclyde Sport Building, which has got some fantastic facilities inside, and our learning and teaching building, which we'll be processing to after this ceremony. We're investing in the health and wellbeing services and always putting students at the heart of everything that we do. Our progress and efforts in all of these areas have been greatly recognised in recent years with a host of awards. We became the only university to win the Times Higher Education UK University of the Year twice, first in 2012 and again in 2019. And we've also been named Business School of the Year, Workplace of the Year and awarded Research Project of the Year. Relative to the Faculty of Science, we have some notable achievements recently. Professor Chris Robertson from Mathematics and Statistics is a researcher with the EVE project, which uses anonymized linked patient data to track COVID-19 um, during the pandemic and the vaccine rollout in real time. So this project has produced extensive numbers of publications, which has really helped us understand more about the dealing with the pandemic and of course the role of the vaccines. Strathclyde is involved in research which has developed a tool which is highly effective in treating types of tumours resi resistant to other forms of radiation using high-powered lasers to generate a beam of carbon ions with the ability to target cancerous tumours. And researchers with industry partners are aiming to develop an app for determining individual women's risk of preeclampsia and its potential severity, including post-birth complications. They're planning to combine two existing forms of a calculating tool known as PEERS or the Preeclampsia Integrated Est Estimate of Risk Score into an integrated system which is favourable to women, their midwives, doctors and engineers. There are many more examples, um, I'm not going to go through them all, it's just a small sample of the wide-ranging activity and successes from our university in the last year. So graduates, today is your day and the beginning of a new chapter in your lives where you take your knowledge and skills that you've acquired during your time here to pursue and realize your aspirations. As you forge your new careers, the university's values of being ambitious, bold, innovative, collaborative, and people oriented will stand you in good stead. We're only just emerging from the coronavirus pandemic, which has had far reaching and unprecedented impacts on all of our lives. The pandemic has changed our health systems, impacted our economies and changed the way that we work. But it's also demonstrated what society can achieve when we work together. And it has placed science at the forefront of solutions to, to, face the, uh, sorry, to address the challenges that we face. And it was science and universities that delivered vaccines for the COVID-19 virus in record time. And it's science and education that will help us address the most pressing issue of our day climate change. So in November last year, Glasgow hosted COP26, the summit of world leaders and nations which came together to agree measures to prevent catastrophic warming of our planet. Several important pledges were made at that meeting and it will be up to you as citizens to ensure that these promises are kept and to, pu to push for further changes and it will be up to you as citizens to play your part in putting in place the scientific and social solutions to make net zero happen. The university is all too aware of its responsibilities to reduce its own impact on the planet, and we set a target to reduce our carbon emissions by 70% by 2025 and reach net zero by 2040 or earlier. We must recognize that the challenges of coronavirus and climate change have exposed divisions in our societies, weaknesses in our systems, and even seen the denial of science and expert knowledge. Strathclyde is an institution where freedom of thought is encouraged and valued, an institution exemplified by tolerance and inclusivity, one which seeks to play a significant role in shaping the world we live in, through our teaching, research, and through you, our graduates. As graduates of Strathclyde, you too must play your part in drawing upon the knowledge you've gained here and the learning that is still to come to build a brighter future. In doing so, we hope you will demonstrate Strathclyde's socially progressive values, an ethos of tolerance, tolerance, pluralism, and a desire to make a positive difference. As graduates, you must champion knowledge, address injustice, 
and question inappropriate behaviours, including by those in authority. I'm confident you're going to do this as you go out into the world equipped with the most valuable asset, knowledge. The Strathclyde degree that you now hold in your hands is your passport to success as you rise to meet the challenges ahead. The quality of research and education at Strathclyde is why our graduates are highly sought after by employers and it's through you, our graduates, that we make our biggest impact on the world. So it's with immense pride that we see you graduate today and though you may be leaving us, we hope you will continue to stay in touch and let us know how you get on and to continue to contribute to Strathclyde. But today is your day. The time has come for you to celebrate with your loved ones. So on behalf of the University of Strathclyde, congratulations again to each and every one of you. I wish you every success for the future. And I now declare this congregation closed.